Hello friends in this video tutorial we are going to learn how to insert XML file data into MySQL database by using PHP with Ajax jQuery. We all know XML is stand for Extensible Markup Language and it is used to share data on World Wide Web. It is a one type of data format which are used for transfer data on internet. Here we will see how to import XML file contents has been transferred into MySQL database table by using PHP script with Ajax jQuery. In this we will upload XML file by using Ajax jQuery and after this by using PHP script we will fetch data from XML file and after this we will import into MySQL table. This all process has been done without refresh of web page, because we have used Ajax. Now let's start learning this topic, this is our testing database and in this we have one employee table with six table column like id, name, address, gender, designation and age. We will import XML file data into this table. This is our employee.xml file and in this we have store employee data in XML format. Here we can see employee data has been stored in main employees and in this we have different employee subnode and in that employee subnode we have store employee different details like game, address, gender, designation and age. This way we have store employee data in this XML file. This is our index.php page and on this page here we have include javascript library jQuery and bootstrap library on header section. We will use both library features on this page. For learn this topic we will upload xml file, so for upload xml file first we want to define one form, so here we have define form tag with attribute method is equal to post. It is equal to import form and encrypt type is equal to multi-part form data. Here we have use encryption type for upload file to server. Under this form we want to define on file tag for select file from local computer. So here we have define input type is equal to file with attribute name is equal to file and it is equal to file. For submit form data to server, so here we have defined one input type is equal submit with attribute name is equal to submit, it is equal to submit and value is equal to submit, by click on this button user can upload xml file and at server side data will be imported into mysql database. So our html form code is ready. So we have moved to write jQuery code for submit form data to server. So here we have write dollar with form it import form with on method and under this method we have write submit event with anonymous function with event argument. So form has been submitted this code will execute. Under this first we have write event dot prevent default method. This method will stops the default action of an element from happening. After this we have start writing Ajax request for submit form data to server. Under this first we have write URL option set to import.php. This is URL to which the request is sent. In second option we have write method and in this option we have set post method. So here we have use post method for send request to server. In third option we have write data option and in this option we can define which data we want send to server. So here we have write new with form data object this, it will send data to server in a set of key and values pairs of form fields and values. In fourth option we have define content type option set to false, this option has been used when sending data to the server. In fifth option we have write cache option and this option has been set to false, this will not cache requested pages. In sixth option we have write process data option and this option we have set to false, it will use to send DOM document or not process data file, so it is set to false. After this we have write before send callback function, 
this function has been called before of Ajax request, and at that time we want to disable submit button, so we have write dollar with button is submit with attribute disable disabled, this will disable submit button. Then after we want to change value of submit button, so we have write dollar with button is submit with value method and under this we have write importing. This will change button value. In Ajax request at lastly we have write success callback function. This function has been called if Ajax request successfully completed and it will receive data from server which we can access from this data argument. Before write first above this form we have defined one span tag with attribute it is equal to message, under this tag we will display error or success message which we will receive from server. So for display message under the span tag, so we have go to success callback function and under this we have write dollar with span tag id message with html method and under this method we have write data argument. This will display message under the span tag. Then after we want to clear selected file from file tag. So here we have write dollar with form it import form with zero index with reset method. This method will clear form field. After this we want to enable submit button which we have disabled and before send callback function. So here we have write dollar with button is submit with attribute method with two argument. In first argument we have write disabled option and second argument we have write false. This code will enable submit button. And lastly we want to change submit button value from importing to import. So here we have write dollar with button is submit with value method and under this method we have write import text. This code will change submit button value from importing to import. After this we want to remove success or error message from span tag with id message. So here we have write set interval method with 5 percent millisecond. Under this method we have write dollar with span tag id message with html method with blank value. This code will clear span tag html data after 5 second and it will be removed from web page. Now we have moved to write PHP code on import.php page. On this page here we have defined $1 output variable is equal to blank value, under this we will store error or success message. After this we have write if statement and under condition we have write is set function with $files file name variable and $files file name value is not equal to blank. This condition will check we have select any file or not, if file is selected then it will execute if block of code otherwise it will execute else block of code. Suppose we have not select any file, then it will execute else block of code and under this block we have write dollar output variable is equal to text message like please select xml file. But suppose we have select any file then it will execute if block of code and under this block we have write dollar valid extension variable is equal to xml in array format. After this we have write dollar file data variable is equal to explode function with two argument. In first argument we have write string delimiter dot and in second argument we have write dollar files file name. This code will make array from selected file name and store into this dollar file data variable. Now we want to get extension of selected file, so we have write dollar file extension variable is equal and function and under this function we have write dollar file data variable, this function will return last array which is file extension which are stored in this dollar file extension variable. Below this we have write if statement and under condition we have write an array function with two argument. In first argument we have write dollar file extension variable and in second argument we have write dollar valid extension. This condition will check if selected file extension is equal to xml then it will execute if block of code otherwise it will execute else block of code. 
suppose selected file extension is not equal to XML then it will execute else block of code and under this we have write dollar output variable is equal to error message like invalid file. But suppose selected file format is XML then it will execute if block of code and under this we have write dollar data variable is equal to simple XML load file function and under this we have write dollar files with tag name file with temporary name. This function will get content of XML file from temporary folder and return simple XML element object with keys and values element which we have stored into this dollar data variable, so from this variable we can fetch XML file data. Now we want to make database connection, so here we have write dollar connect variable is equal to new no class object with argument my SQL host is equal to localhost. Database name is equal to testing, username set to root and password set to blank. This code will make database connection. Below this we have write dollar query variable is equal to insert query like insert into employee table with column like game, address, gender designation and age with values like double colon name, address, gender, designation and age. After this we have write dollar statement variable is equal to database connection string dollar connect with prepare statement and under this we have write write dollar query variable, this statement will prepare query for execution. Now we have write for loop start with dollar i variable value is equal to zero, and this variable value must be less than count dollar data variable value and dollar i variable value must be increment by one. This loop will continuously execute code until this dollar i variable less than the length of dollar data variable object. Under this loop we want to execute insert query by pass value in array format. So here we have write dollar statement variable with execute method and under this method we have define array for pass data for insert into table. So in array first we have write double colon name key with value get from dollar data variable object employee node with index dollar i variable value with name node. Here we have fetch name data for double colon name key. After this in second key we have write double colon address key value get from dollar data with employee node with index dollar i variable value with address sub node. Here we have fetch address data for double colon address key. Same way we have write double colon gender key with value get from dollar data object employee no dollar i variable index with sub node gender, this will return gender data for double colon gender key. For designation, we have write double colon designation key with value get from dollar data object employee node with index dollar i variable value with sub node designation. And lastly in array we have write double colon age key with value get from dollar data object with employee node with index dollar i variable value with sub node age. This way we have fetched data from XML file and defined the particular key in array. This will code will execute insert query and one by one it will fetch data from XML file and import in my SQL table. Now we have write dollar result variable is equal to dollar statement variable with fetch all method. This method will fetch result from query execution and store into dollar result variable. From this dollar result variable value we can check data properly inserted or not. So here we have write of statement and under condition we have write is set function with dollar result variable. This condition will check value of this dollar result variable value is set or not.
If value is set then it will execute if block of code and under this we have write dollar output variable is equal to success message like import data done. This way we have store success message in dollar output variable. Now we want to send this dollar output variable value to Ajax request, so we have write echo statement with dollar output variable. This code will print value of dollar output variable value to web page. So here our code is ready, so we have saved this code on check output in browser. Friends we can see when page has been loaded into browser then we can see on simple form with file tag and submit button. So here we have directly click on import button. After clicking on import button without selecting any file we have received message like please select XML file. So here we have select different extension file and click on import button. After selecting non-XML file and click on import button, so we have received error message like invalid file. So now we have select employee data XML file and click on import button. Now we have received success message like import done. That means all XML file data has been imported into my SQL employee table. Now we have go to my SQL table to check data properly inserted or not. So here we have can see all XML file data has been successfully inserted into this employee table. That means our code is working. This type of feature is mainly used when we want to import large amount of data into our system. Then this feature is required. I hope you have learned something new from this tutorial. If you have any query regarding this video tutorial part, please comment your query in comment box and if you like this video tutorial please share with your friends or even you can also share on social media also. If you want to get more update regarding our video tutorial, please subscribe our YouTube channel for get more update regarding release of future video. Lastly keep watching our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching this video tutorial.